So many of us, we are like, well, you know, every day we wake up right now, there are challenges we have right now. And I know you guys as kids, you're just staying home. Your parents are, you know, providing for you. But a time is going to come and things are going to change and you need money for yourself. So today we're going to talk a little bit about what I'm going to cover. I know Nathan said he want to learn about scholarships. Uh, Joseph said he wants to learn about how to manage money. But I want to start with my topic today is where does money go? You get money, where does it really go? When you look at your parents, where is your money going? Or oh, say it pays bills, it does this, it does the other. So what is money in the first place? So money is a tool that we use every day. You can pay, pay bills, buy food. You can take a vacation on them, use the money on a vacation. You can give it away. So money is a tool. Just like you, 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 know, you saw that little boy mowing the lawn. He's using a mower. Money is a, it has a power in itself. If you have it, you can do some stuff if somebody else doesn't have it. And not, money is a good thing. You know, if, I, if you have money, like, you know, you can go to Starbucks, buy your best cup of coffee. You know, if you wanna go to Disney, I've been wanting to Disney, I haven't gone there. You can go to Disney. You can pay tuition. There's so many things you can do with money. So it has a power in itself. It's a tool that people use. And just also remind you that, you know, money is just like time. There's a finite. Nobody has an enormous amount of money that is just unlimited. I mean, you know, I know people who say, oh, you know, uh, there are people who are rich, they're wealthy, they have lots of money. They have lots of money, but they don't have all the money in the world. Can you hear me? I see like I'm muted. Can you hear me? I can't hear anybody. I can hear you. Yeah, okay, here. because I, my screen came something shows I'm, I'm on mute. So uh, some people say some people are rich, they have all the money in the world, but you know, it takes effort to get money. It takes time. I'm sure some of you do chores and you're like, oh, you know, why do I have to do this? But it takes effort for you to get that money. Your, uh, Nathan said about scholarship. It's going to take you time to apply for those scholarships. You have to go research. Sometimes you have to be in a spot for you to get a scholarship, music. You know, you have to be outstanding in your grades to get a scholarship. It takes an effort. It can be time. You know, you may be volunteering and, you know. So getting money, because the scholarships actually is in form of money that you don't have to pay for, but it takes effort. Just the same way you do chores in the house and get some money, it takes effort to obtain money that you're gonna use for various things. So I wanna give you a little story about myself. When I was growing up in Kenya, uh, the way I used to make money is do chores in the farm or in the house and you know, every month my mom would give me some pocket money and that's the money I would use or save. And I remember my first TV that I bought, it was black and white. I don't know you guys, you don't even know what black and white is all. But I had one and I used my pocket money to buy a TV because I used to like to watch certain stuff and you know, my parents didn't, didn't uh, you know, we only had one TV and we couldn't share it. So we had to be on one channel. So I, I bought myself a black and white, kind of a tiny TV, like the size of a computer. So when we look at money, I'm going to go back to the next slide. In general, when you have money, it falls in these three buckets. You're either gonna give it, you're gonna save it, or you're gonna spend it. Every time you get money, it's gonna fall somewhere in here. So if you forget anything we talked about today, just remember these three. It's, you know, it's like a GSP for money. You're either giving it, you're saving it, or you're spending it. That's where money goes. And you, 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 you make a choice of where to start. Are you gonna start with giving? Are you gonna save it? Are you gonna spend it? You know, some of you say, oh, I, I don't have bills to pay, so I'm gonna save all my money. 
Or another one who say, well, if I get money, I want to buy the newest video game. So the first initiative is to spend it. And another one who say, well, this is Christmas. I have 20 bucks. I'm going to give it to poor kids in Africa or needy people here. And I'm just going to give it away. You make a choice of how to spend your money. But we want to teach you to be more responsible in how you spend your money. How, when you're looking at this give, save, spend, what, what, how much do you want to put in these buckets? Because at the end of the day, you're going to draw from one of the buckets and that's how you're going to spend your money. So let's look at the first one is to give. And when you give money, I'm sure many of you go to church. You can give it to a church. You, can, you have food drives at school. You can go buy canned goods, you know, take it to school. Uh, you give gifts, birthday gifts. You know, presents you give to people, that's part of giving. You can give to organizations like B4, Vitendo for Africa, or that's a good way to use your money. So I always say start with giving. Start with giving you, start with giving. And my rule is usually 10%. That's the minimum. You can give more and I encourage you to give more, but I was like, how much do I give? How much do I save? How much do I spend? But I look at this as how it goes, is give your money first. And then the next one is to save and then you spend, and then spend the rest. And this is how like, I think about my money. When you get money, think in this line, give, save, and spend. Because whenever you put spending first, you never have enough to save. And that's why I say money is a finite object. It's not like enormous amount of money that you, you you know, you can just have it and never ever run out of it. Yeah, you can run out of money. So the next one is to save. This money you save is what you're putting aside for future use. Now, I know Joseph said he's going to be, you know, he's going to high school, I believe. And when you start, as you, you guys are getting older every day, and soon you're going to need go to college, you're going to need a car, you probably need books and laptop. And sometimes you just don't have enough money for, at the moment, to buy a car. So you got to save up for it. You got to be putting it aside. Saving means you're putting it aside for future use. And you can either put in a piggy bank, if you have a bank account, put it there. And then you could have a goal. I want to save money to buy this. I had money, I saved my money to buy a black and white TV when I was young. And I had to really do chores to get all the way to, how, to the amount that I needed. So save up some money. Sometimes when my kids ask me, oh, mom, I need a new video game. I'm like, how much do you have? And some of them, I have zero money. I'm like, yeah, you need to get some money first and then I'm gonna add you money to, you know, to buy that. I'm not just gonna buy it, but you can do chores, you know? And one of my youngest kids says, I don't want money. And I'm like, you wanna be poor? I don't, you're going to buy me stuff. I'm like, I'm not going to buy you stuff for the rest of your life. So you need to be saving aside. And sometimes even when people ask, uh, I need something. Sometimes people ask, how much do you have? Like I have an older brother. Every time he's asking me money, he needs to buy some cell phone in Kenya. I'm always like, how much do you have? And this is also going to apply to you. As you get older and you're like, oh, I'm going to talk to my parents to help me out. And they're going to ask you, how much do you have? Because they, they, they're not going to be doing handouts. They're going to be asking you, you know, they, they're going to top up on what you have. So you need to develop like a culture of saving your money. My rule is 50%. You guys are still very young, probably don't have as, you don't have many obligations. So you can be able to put a lot of money into savings. So I say, I always say, put 50%. You're still very young. You can put that and save it for a future day, because you're gonna need it. And I like my little piggy bank there. So the last one is spend. And this comes as the last, spending the money. Everybody wanna spend money. You get the money, you know, you, if you don't think, the first thing you wanna do is to spend it. And America is very good at all this kind of stuff, like, oh, I like going to Starbucks. Who doesn't like that coffee? 
just sit down there, listen to the music, you know, get a nice cup of coffee, you know, and they have all these seasonal ones. There's one for fall, there's another one for winter, and you know, you go to the Panera Bread Call, get some sandwich. Feels really good. Go to the mall, get a pretzel, you know, feels good. And I say it takes effort to earn this money that you spend. So money that you spend, you use it to meet your need. And when I look at you guys and young people, you know, the first thing you're thinking right now, you know, and it shouldn't be the next video game. I know, you know, many kids, electronics has become, you know, the thing now. You, you need to strategize the way you spend your money, especially as you get older. What things do you value most right now? In your next phase of life, what do you need? Do you really need these five, six gadgets? No. You can save up that money because you need, a, you need to go to college, you need a good job. And you, once you, you, you start thinking that way, that it's not just spending, it's not just getting stuff. It's that I can put this aside and, uh, you know, and use it for future. So some of the things that, you know, you, when, you, when you have money I look at is, um, you know, sometimes you pay for books. I always have my kids whenever we go to teachers' conference, we always buy books. And sometimes I ask them to save money for those books. And then, you know, I know you guys, some of you, you're still young, others are getting older. Soon you're gonna have, you know, you have a cell phone. It could cost money. You want internet, Wi-Fi, it cost money, you know. I know some of you, if you're older, probably you're gonna, you wanna drive yourself. You know, you're like, I don't want my parents to drive me on my own car. It's gonna cost money, it's gonna be insurance, it's gonna be gas, you know? So it, 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 it's gonna cost money, you know? Some of you are like, I wanna be out of here as, once I'm done with high school, I wanna be out of my parents' house. It's gonna cost money. So you need to know that th these three things, give, save, spend. So how much do you spend? And I say, it's a, my rule is 40%. You're still young, probably you don't have as many bills. You can still, you, 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 you can still manage your, your, your spending. And just to talk, I'm almost done. Uh, on, my, on my second to last uh, uh, topic is budget. So when we talk about spending, I always look at, you know, a budget. Many of you, right now we are all staying home and probably your parents, I'm like, oh, we're not spending money the way we were spending money before because, you know, people are losing jobs and this and this is going on. So a budget is a plan, how you're gonna spend your money, keeps you on track. You can compare, I plan to spend this money this way. This is actually how I spend it. And then you're like, okay, did I go over budget? Am I under budget? What do I need to cut out, you know? How do I need to reorganize the affairs of, of what I do? And there could be a small things as how much you eat at school. Could be a small thing at, you know, buying video games or buying little, you know, gadgets that you, you like. You're like, I looked at these, I wanted to spend this, but I already spent more than what I wanted to spend, why? A budget actually helps you to ask the question, why? Why did I spend more? You know, did I not? wait long enough for the price to go down? Did I go for the most expensive or the newest gadget? So a budget is just a plan on how you plan to spend your money. So I now wanna finish up with this last slide and say, when you think about money, remember the three buckets that you give it, you're giving money, you're either saving it or you're spending it. It's gonna fall into one of three these three buckets, giving, saving, or spending it. Remember that, that five-year-old boy wanting the Lamborghini? He had three bucks. Was it enough? No. But did he have money? Yes. Right? But he needed, he needed more money than that. I was checking the Lamborghini is about 200,000. And you know, this boy was gonna drive from Utah to California, the three bucks wasn't even enough for gas. So just remember, giving the money, you're either saving it or you're spending it. And I would wish that, you know, be responsible with your money and uh, start thinking of it. Don't, when you get money, the first thing is not spending it. Thinking these three times, give, save, spend. It's a GSS. 
And I wanna say thank you. Uh, I'm gonna hang around. I don't wanna take too much time. Um, I hope you learned something from today. Yep. Remember it's give, save, spend. I hope you learned some, you've learned something. Uh, and I wanna give back to uh, Jeff. I'm meeting back to Jeff. Okay, that is fine. Great, thank you. That was very powerful. I think uh, I, I've learned so much too. Um, uh, I know I I may have. Uh, I don't know if I didn't log get some people who were coming in, but I think thank you, Mudoni. That was really very really nice, and you're able to put it in a very simple language that uh, many of the people in the forum will be able to understand. But uh, I will ask maybe from the people, there are people who are listening uh, to give us some feedback on what they have learned. Uh, and I think this is, um, I, would, I would like to know also maybe what, what, are the, what are the things that you guys are doing that you're making, I mean, help you earn some money, make some money and how are you spending your money based on what you've learned. Uh, let, let's share from, from people in the forum here. Uh, Sayla. Okay, so um, I what we learned. Okay, so I learned about the three uh, main things: the give, the save, and the spend, and that we have to balance them all out um, so that we don't do we like. For example, the give was ten percent, the save was. 50% and then the spend was the rest. So you've got to make sure that you save more than you spend and you keep it a balance. And for myself, I usually save most of the time, um, but I will also spend, but I can say that I also try to keep a good balance sometimes, but yes. Yeah, somebody is saying has some debts in there. Yeah, I don't know how you do. <laughs> Yeah, we, 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 you heard about how you manage your debt so you don't get a lot of debts. The way yeah. you it is actually the minimizing your spending. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's see. Joseph, go ahead. Um, one thing I've learned is we're, we're supposed to always give before we consider anything else. And the way that I manage my money is I take care of, like, I give, but then I take care of my expenses. So like entertainment, my Netflix subscription, gas, and um, like, get, yeah, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's good. So what are the things that you're doing to make your money, to, to earn some money? So right now I'm trying to invest in myself. So I'm taking a lot of courses online, mm -hmm. trying to improve like uh, my programming experience. And um, I've also been like, I, before this whole COVID-19, I was tutoring. Mm -hmm. And now that's how I was earning uh, like money while I was in school. But sure. now that's over. Mm, that's yeah. good. Uh, and that, that's something you can continue doing uh, on summer. I think now everything is going virtual. Think about how you can transition yeah. business with that just because of the technology and see if you can... If those your students, you're able to reach out to the virtual. I think uh, over summer it will be something that I would recommend um, to pursue that area. See if we can get some. I'm sure parents will be willing to subscribe if they have seen your great uh, outcome from your past experience. Yeah, great. I think that's a good feedback. Let's see from uh, Nathaniel. One thing that I learned is that whenever, so she said that like you give 10%, you, you save 50 and you spend like 40 and I learned that instead of like giving over or spending over what you need, so that way that way like you save still yes 
That's good. That's that's very true. You have to balance on how much you're spending. Um, I learned like I have a budget so that you don't so that you don't spend too much and you don't. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Don't spend too much. Okay, and then uh, Aiden. What did, what did you learn? Uh, go ahead. I learned that it was not all about spending because I could spend a lot. You realize that you don't have any more money. And then you kind of want to, you're not going to be able to buy anything. Because I could spend all, all the stuff that I don't need. Okay. I think, uh, John, I think your, your, your internet is not, uh, you're not able to. Speak us not yet, right? John? Now working. So I have Bridget. Bridget. Bridget, are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Okay, go ahead. So um I have because we I'm not working here. Um, my parents, like what they provide is for me. So I'm starting to work in college because I'm going to take a work study. And um, since it's catered for now, that's when I'm. Mm. I think you're off. We can hear. I think. Did you break? Hello. All right, uh, that's good. Um, I think uh, we really have, uh, especially those who are going to college, I see Joseph and Bridget. Uh, this is a perfect time to apply some of those skills that you've really learned uh, over hard today. Hopefully that to a new, and even those who are as young as 10 years, uh, this goes back to what you have, the little money that you get, or even uh, not necessarily the little money that you have. You can also help your mom and your dad to no. because uh, if you are not, if you are not, if you're asking all this, I want this, I want this, I want this, but you're also not asking how much it costs and maybe how much you your parents are going off the budget because of you demanding too much. Uh, I've seen people, they, electronics, you buy this, you got a phone, the next thing is broken, the next thing is lost. You're really affecting the budget of the family because not necessarily when you start working, but also you when you're home, you are also helping to keep the family within the budget because of the way you take care of your stuff. You have something I've been provided, and then uh, in the next two, three days, it's broke. Um, your electronics uh, is stolen. Those who have phones, they say, I won't get my latest. And because, and not the first one, because the one you have is not working, just because your friends have the latest and you feel like it's the best way to show off what you have. It was sharing saying that there was one family they, want, they wanted to buy a vehicle for their son uh, who had just graduated from high school. And then they bought him the best car, very expensive, I think $25,000. Um, and then uh, after some time, he wrecked it within two months. They bought another one, same, good car. And then uh, drove it for four months, he wrecked it again. Uh, and then what he's, uh, the fifth time, at that time when they were about to buy, he said, Dad, you have always bought a vehicle for me and I appreciate it, but I wanted to do mine. I wanted to buy my own vehicle from my own money, not from your own money. So he started saving money uh, from little stuff, cutting grass and doing all the stuff. And uh, when he went, he, he saved his money up to $2,000. And so when he went, he bought a very old used car. Uh, and he got it for, I think he bought it for 1800 
when he came home, he was so excited because he has a car that he bought with his own money. And he loved that car, but washing it, maintaining it, taking it to car wash, everything and doing everything, putting everything to give the best car smell inside. It was the well-maintained inside out car than anything else. And then his dad was asking me, why do you love such an old car? And I bought a very new car and you didn't even take care of it. Uh, and so when he was being interviewed, he'd say this, is that because I earn the money, I know the pain of the money where I went through and I have the sense of ownership. That is his mind. The other one was daddy's. But even if he was, he was, he was the one driving, but he's the one who bought it. It's, he, it's not his money, but this one he earned from, he did it from his own money and he knew the cost of it. So he didn't want any, anything that would mess up with the car. And he stayed with that car for more than five years. But the other one, it was not more than two months. The longest he stayed was four months. And it was brand new, $25,000. This one was 1800 He earned it. And uh, even when he's driving, he would drive very proud of it. And people may think it's an old car when they see it, but inside himself, he's, it's my car, it is my money. And he had the pride of it. So that's the same thing I'll challenge you. You don't have to buy a car because you may not be there yet. But you can say my first phone that I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy with my own money. Even if you're going to spend 60 shillings, $60, it's going to be something that you own, you earned it. You have the sense of ownership. Don't worry what people say about it. Somebody may have the latest phone, but you're going to tell yourself that that is from their money that was paid from their parents. This one, even if it's a hundred dollar phone, it's your money, it is your hard earned money. And that's when you start now developing the sense of the GSS. Because now you know how you make money, you know how to spend it, and you know how to save. You can't be able to build that until you start building that saving little by little, like little by little, even if it's $5. I'm so proud of Sola because she's now telling me I'm saving my money. Every time I get, I am saving. I'm saving. And, uh, and I hear Abiga say, yeah, we're going to compete. We're going to save more. Because I, the good thing, I don't hear them saying they are saving to go and eat McDonald's. I because I will not be part of the deal. <laughs> but I think it's, yeah, save money and then have a goal of what you want to do with that money. Because when you... S- Finally, buy something from your own money. Uh, remember that, that boy. You will always be proud of the little thing that you're able to accomplish. If you're able to do big things, you're going to be able to do big things because you are able to do small things. Otherwise, there's no way you're going to be able to do big things later if you are struggling to do the small things today. So we can do that. I think we have Joyce. I'm going to invite Joyce. Is uh, one of our mentorship uh, coordinator and then after that we're gonna have Walter so thank you so much uh, Madoni for that great great discussion I'm sure the people who have it, who are in this forum there is a lot they will be able to learn from it so Joyce go ahead well good afternoon everybody uh, as you have heard uh, my name is Joyce Karaoke and uh, I am uh, well, I've been with the group for a long period of time. So uh, some of you know me, the Aidens, they know me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know of anyone else I'm seeing here, but um, it's a, this is a very good um, source of information that we're getting because if we do not know how to take care of our finances, we have seen studies have shown that uh, Most adults, especially if they get into relationships and stuff like that, that's one of the things that actually brings a lot of um, conflict. And uh, also there are those people who do not know how to invest, they don't know how to save, they don't know how to take care of themselves. So this is good information uh, at a tender age to be able to understand how money works, how people are able to travel, how people are able to um, 
have things, how people are able to, if there is an issue or a challenge that is happening, that they don't have to worry so much because they know that they have some savings somewhere. So I, it's my hope and prayer that everyone will take this information and actually take more time to think about it. Ask yourself, are you associating with people who are also like-minded, who are not just thinking of buying the latest gadget, as Geoffrey has said, or uh, showing off? A lot of young people, a lot of people in general, let me not even say just young people, a lot of people, they want to go with the crowd. If you know that your pocket cannot be able to afford an iPhone 10, don't put yourself in that state so that you can be able to look like everybody else. At the end of the day, you'd rather have a phone that will be able to communicate and be comfortable with and then save for a rainy day or save for something greater than, because at the end of the day, think about it. We are individuals at the end of the day. It's not about when you're in a crowd, you're in a crowd. And sometimes crowds can really uh, derail us. And especially if those crowds are just there to um, have, uh, they just want status uh, for themselves. But if you associate with people who want to improve themselves emotionally, physically, socially, uh, then you're in good company. So um, we thank you, Sabina, for giving us an insight on how we can be able to, you know, save money, how we can be able to, what it means to spend and what it means to give. Because at the end of the day, uh, God has required us, you know, to give a percentage. And uh, I mean, even if you decide to go on a, religious view on save uh, on giving you that is another whole lesson on what it means to give and how god actually blesses you because you're giving other people and the less fortunate uh so thank you uh joffrey for the forum and uh, i want to congratulate each and everyone who has uh, availed themselves to come out and um listen in thank you so much so make sure you share this information with are your friends who were not uh, available to come on and encourage them next time to come in and listen to this wealth of information. At least now you don't have to drive. You don't have to uh, look for someone to bring you. You just need your phone or your tablet to just log in and share experiences and information. Thanks, Jeff. That is true. That is powerful. I, I agree. Uh, you have no excuse now not to attend the meeting because uh, you just need your computer and just log in with at your own comfort of your own home. And uh, you'll be able to share and, 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 and listen to such a great presentation like uh, Mudoni has just shared. Uh, Walter, uh, let's give this chance to the program coordinator, Dr. Walter, uh, uh, just to summarize it. Okay. So, um... I've been doing this for a long time. I'm, I think I'm the oldest on this forum. <laughs> Maybe Geoffrey's older than me. Yeah, you're close to me. You, don't worry. One time you're going to close to me. <laughs> so I have been dealing with, uh, with this, this, uh, this whole thing of money for a long, long time. And within the next 10 years, of course, I'll be retired. Um, and the one thing, there are two things I need to tell you uh, as, as young people, people who are younger than me, is that when it comes to when it comes to money matters, you can always learn more. So yes, I've been doing this for a long time, but when Mudoni talks, gives a talk today, I'm still learning more. And um, so you should go in, go in with that mindset that you're always going to learn more about how to save, how to do this. Sometimes things will change, uh, okay? And um, the other thing too is, the second thing that I wanted to tell you is that sometimes you know, when we look at the saving part on its own, sometimes that takes sacrifice. And what I mean by that is that if you go to watch TV today, guess what's going to happen? You know, between every, you know, at every break, people are going to be telling you, buy this, buy that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is better. This is that. And so, you know, uh, you get Burger King, McDonald's. Now, which one, Wendy's, which one do I go to? 
um, you, what you've got to ask yourself is, do I go to any one of them? Maybe I just stay home and, and cook for myself. So there are going to be a lot of enticements for you to spend your money because people want your money. Mm -hmm. The question is, do you want, are you going to give them your money or are you going to keep it for yourself? Okay, as much as you can. And that's where the saving part comes in. I mean, it, you know, as, as has been mentioned, it's very easy to spend, very easy to spend. It's not that easy to save uh, because there's so many nice things out there. <laughs> um, but if you, if you can take that sacrifice, so maybe your friends are going to the movie theater on Saturday um, and you have the choice, do I go with them? Which means I'm gonna have to spend money, some money, or do I save it? So, so you're gonna have those choices. And you know, one, one week you may go with this, this way, another week you may go that way. Uh, but make sure that you're saving because saving means really that you're paying yourself, okay? You're paying yourself mm -hmm. um, first and you should always do that first. So if, if your parents give you $10 for doing something, okay, you, may, you, may, you must pay yourself first. Pay yourself that $2, put it in your bank account and forget about it. And then the other eight maybe you can use for other things, but always put something away. And no matter how small it is, it may be 50 cents, it may be or whatever you get, give yourself something and then don't touch it, just leave it there. And within two or three years, you'll see it starting to grow. And when your parents see, um, see that your bank account is starting to grow, they might get encouraged and add something there, mm -hmm. you see? So just build on it. And then over the years, you know, before you know it, um, you will have something in your bank that you can look at. And like Jeffrey said, you're proud of it. Okay. So um, my students are uh, professional students, they're doctoral students. So in their fifth year, I sit down with them and we talk about money. All right. Mm -hmm. And so what I have them do, God on their own, before I, uh, I give them a template and they go out and they, they write down their budgets for the month, a monthly budget. And then they write down also their, their expenses for the month. And they actually go and look at their receipts and their bank accounts and so on. And then we come to class and we talk. And one of the, one of the things that they always come up with is I didn't realize that I was spending this much on whatever item it was. Okay, a lot of times it's Starbucks. I didn't realize I spent that much money on, on Starbucks because you do it once a day. So you spend maybe two or three dollars a day. Um, but in a week that becomes what? Three times five, right? That's 15. Mm -hmm. And then in a month it becomes bigger. And then in a year, if you calculate it for a year, it becomes bigger. So a lot of, a, a lot of times uh, what I would encourage you to do as you get older, especially those of you who are going to be in college and going uh, to be on your own, is just keep, uh, keep a track of your expenses. Get an Excel sheet mm -hmm. and just write your expenses, any expense, or, may, or now there are apps actually, you can use an app so that you, it's with you all the time. So when you go and you spend that 50 cents to buy a soda or to buy milk, put it in there. And then at the end of the day, take a look, or at the end of the month, take a look, and that'll help you to kind of see where your money is going. Because a lot of times you'll, you'll get a paycheck and people will tell you this, I got paid on Friday, but I don't know where my money went. You know, I had $100 that was given. Now I have 20, but I don't know where the 80 went. Mm -hmm. I think I did this and that. So keeping track of your expenses. Okay, but again, uh, you know, I'm gonna stop here, but what I, again, what I do want to tell you is um, um, listen to what Muldoni said, take, part, take the parts that you can, and implement them and just keep doing that. Uh, you know, make that as lifetime goal for yourself. Thank you, John. Great, great. I think that's very, very nice. I really appreciate that uh, to hear. Anybody who has a question can ask. Uh, I think Madoni is there. She can be able to uh, answer. Anybody who has a question? <laughs> 